Hey, y'all. I am so excited to introduce you to Beatrice. Uh, Beatrice and I connected through a mutual connection, Jen Smollett, who has used Beatrice to help her craft an amazing talk. I'm so excited to share Beatrice with you today and talk a little bit about how the work she does dovetails really, really nicely with the Get Paid from the Stage program. Hey, Beatrice. Hi. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing well. You guys will hear uh, in her voice. Beatrice is not here in Arizona with me. Beatrice, do you mind telling people where you're from? Um, I live in Wales in the UK. I'm currently in Northern England, but yes, I'm English, as you can hear. I love it. So uh, I'll talk a little bit about, you know, what I do and what I don't do in the Get Paid from the Stage program. And then Beatrice, if you don't mind sharing how you kind of fill in that gap, I'm just super excited to have the two of us have offerings that really work well to prepare people to really, really get paid from the stage. So in my Get Paid from the Stage program, that's my six-week program, I help people package their talks. So they create their speaker one sheet. I talk about pricing. Um, they create all of their, their takeaway guides or additional resources guides. And I help them learn how to make that package so they can get paid for the value that they deliver from the stage. And then Beatrice helps really make sure that that talk does create that high value experience for participants, which is something I don't do in the program. I don't listen to the talk. I don't write the talk. I don't refine the talk. So Beatrice, do you mind sharing a little bit about the service that you provide speakers? Yeah, so you could come to me with a speech or a presentation that's at any stage of development, and I'll help you get it to a place where it really kind of increases audience engagement, where you have your audience listening to the end, where it gives people goosebumps, um, and where it's a definite guaranteed good listen. Um, so you might be having trouble sequencing it, and I can help you create that flow, uh, that structure. You might um, have a really good speech, but for some reason it's landing a bit flat. It needs just a bit of finessing so that um, it's a bit of rhetoric. Um, and, and and that kind of thing. You might have trouble with a delivery. Uh, your delivery style might be a bit monotone with pace or inflection or pause or pitch, um, that kind of thing. So I help people with both the content and the delivery or both. And you can come to me at any stage and I'll help you create that speech and help you deliver it really exceptionally well. Oh, I love that so much. And the reason why that's a perfect fit is I help them create that package right? And give them the coaching on the price and who to reach out to. And then in my program, I'll also give them a calls for speakers with over a hundred calls for speakers that they can go submit so they can get paid that high speaking engagement price. And then if they need that service, you can come in and help them make sure that they're going to be memorable, right? And referable. And people are going to be talking about it long after that speech is over. And that's the part that I don't do. Uh, what would you say is the most common area speakers need help with when they come to you? Um, I think people are often not clear about the outcome they want from their audience. What is it that they're trying uh, to affect in their audience. What you always, I think you always tell your, your punters this, Carly, you want to send the audience away transformed, but you need to be very clear about what it is you're trying, in, in what way you're trying to transform your audience. And when you know that, it becomes much easier to create your content. Um, the other thing is that people uh, don't really realize the effects of nerves on the way that they speak. So you may be fine in a situation like this, um, you're fine in the pub, you're practicing on your own at home, and it sounds great. And then when you get to the stage, you suddenly don't sound like yourself. So I help people to understand how to combat those nerves, uh, their legs shaking, their voices going monotone, and how to be really expressive on the stage and to use these tools, vocal tools like pausing, um, and how to use breath to, to really uh, get the information across in a way that's incredibly uh, easy to listen to for the audience. Oh, I love that so much. You know, it's uh, it's such a great feeling when you're in the audience and you're listening and you're like excited and the person is just so poised and they have those little one-liners that you like walk away and go, wow, you know, you get the goosebumps and you just feel inspired to take action, you know? Well, and so what you, what you really don't want is an audience feeling nervous for you. Yes. You look 
as though you're really on your game because we all mirror each other and the audience is feeling what you feel when you speak. So you want to be totally relaxed uh, and totally on it so that the audience can enjoy listening to you and watching you. I love that. So I, it's really interesting, uh, you know, how we met was through Jen Smollett. So Jen had gone through my course, she had booked an engagement and then she came to you for refining. And Jen's like, you need to meet Beatrice. And I, and when we did, we were both like, oh my gosh, like, this (laughs) is like a great match because I do get asked by my participants and get paid from the stage on occasion, you know, who could help them with something like that. So I'm just so grateful to know you and know that this is something that you know, I can share with them. Um, I'm going to be posting this on LinkedIn and inside the get paid from the stage program for the people there. So that if they're like, oh my gosh, I need that help. They know where they can go. Uh, So I have a, a, one more question comes to mind for you. You know, I've got students that are out there now booking engagements. So I've got a uh, couple of students who have booked, you know, seven, $7,000 gigs, a little over seven, kind of in the, I'd say the the five to $8,000 range. Um, and so then all of a sudden, you know, they're like, okay, I got this talk. And now, man, I really want to nail it so that when my audience hears the talk, they go tell their friends or they tell their boss. And now I get referral bookings, right? Because that is the secret sauce to speaking. You get out there, you do your engagement, you knock it out of the park, and then they start referring you to other people to bring you in as a speaker. And that's really a great way to to grow your, your network and get booked more often. If someone were to come to you and say, Beatrice, I got a, I have a talk in two weeks. I thought I was ready. And now I'm like, mm, not sure. How much time does it take you to work with that person? Like, what is that process? Is it a couple of days? Is it a week? Is it a month? Like how far out before their talk do they need to reach out to you to make sure that you've got the time you need to help them really, really get ready? I would say... Uh, if your speech is in a week, uh, that's getting a bit tight because you need to be very familiar with your first speech. Yes. I always tell people virtually learn it off by heart because you really want to be able to relax into it. You know, and you're in the danger zone when you're thinking, oh, I'll just look at my notes and remember the next bit. You know, that's dangerous. Um, so you need time to learn it. If it's your first speech, you'll become very familiar with it. And if there are going to be changes in the content, that doesn't give you long to familiarize yourself with those changes. So I would say two weeks really so that you then have time to go away practice what I've told you I'll give you know I normally give each person quite a lot of notes there's a lot to learn and then that needs to become habitual and easy and comfortable so yeah two weeks um but it doesn't take two weeks for me to help you it takes you know it could be a day it could be three um rarely more than that so if they if they reached out to you for help somewhere in the two to four week range that would be plenty of time that would that's fine and then of of course I mean listen more time is better right so like if they know two months from now I've got this talk coming up that's great but like worst case scenario two weeks ideally give yourself a little bit more buffer four weeks or so I mean if you were making a a speech in a week's time um, and it was a 20 minute speech and you were very good at taking instruction and you knew that you could just take on board whatever I said Um, learn it and do it that's really not a problem Um, so you know it does vary it depends on the length of the speech and how good you are and how nimble you are at sort of taking on board new advice new information and new ways of of speaking Um, that makes sense very cool uh I think that's all the questions I had any final thoughts or I don't know if you have questions for me I'm fine with that too uh well I guess you may not have heard of a speech coach before but what I want to say is that I I suppose I'm fairly unique in that I work with the, I can write a speech and help you to write a speech. I'm an ex-journalist. I've been a writer for 25 years. um, So I can really help you with the content and the delivery. There aren't that many people who do both of those. And they're really two sides of one coin. You can have the most divine content and squander it with a really sort of second rate delivery style. Um, Or you can have a dazzling delivery style, but the content really isn't there. That's substandard. You want them both to do justice to each other. Um, And what's uh, handy is sort of having the same person be able to help you with both, because then I can work with your voice to hear the way you use your voice to express those words. Um, And we can alter the words to suit your voice or alter your voice to suit the words. 
So it works nicely um, being a one-stop shop in a sense. Yeah, I love that. I love that so much. And I'm so excited to have met you. And I really uh, am excited about the way the two services that we offer really create that complete package to help people get paid for their talk, to help them get referred, to feel really confident, and then to deliver a very, very memorable and impactful talk. So I really mm -hmm. appreciate you jumping on here with me. And uh, together, we're going to help people get paid from the stage. How exciting is that? <laughs> well, thank you, Carla. Yeah, and they do. They dovetail beautifully, our, our two skills. So, well, thank you. And it's very, very nice meeting you. Yeah, thank you. So guys, reach out to me. Reach out to Beatrice Newberry. I'll have her links and contact information in the comments. And uh, Beatrice, we'll be talking soon. Bye, everyone. Thank you, Carla. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. -bye. <laughs> Bye.